Hello everyone, welcome to Frizy's Corner Bar. Um, tonight we are preparing the marinade for our Peruvian oven roasted chicken with green cilantro sauce. So I'm just kind of show you how I prep this and get it ready to go. So we're going to start with, I have a free range organic chicken that I got at Star Market. You always want to use a good quality chicken. Um, then what I have here will be the, in, the marinade and the ingredients. And so we're going to start with approximately four large cloves of garlic, two teaspoons of sugar, a teaspoon of dried oregano, one tablespoon of cumin, a teaspoon of pepper, uh, two teaspoons of salt. I have two teaspoons of paprika. However, I have one of regular and one that's smoked. If you don't have smoked, just use two teaspoons of, of regular. And then I have three tablespoons of olive oil and I have a quarter cup of lime juice. All this is gonna go right into your blender or Vitamix. So I'm gonna start with my lime juice. Add in the three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. My cloves of garlic. My sugar. This is where it gets kind of hard, getting all this stuff in there together. So it all gets blended in. So we're just gonna mix it all in, right on in here. So hopefully everybody's doing well. We had a pretty big storm. It wasn't as bad as everybody thought it was going to be, but um, fortunately we're so close to the ocean that the ocean temperature can affect whether we get a lot of snow or more rain. And uh, we got some rain this afternoon and now um, it's definitely chilling down a lot outside. So we're gonna get this cold blast that they had been talking about. So um, I think we probably got maybe eight inches of snow out there. So now we have, this is gonna be our marinade. Let's stick this in there. Turn this baby on, it's gonna get a little loud. While that's going on, you take a little sip of your wine. And that should be pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is just because this is all up in there, I'm going to scrape this out because I want to get all this marinade that I can. We tested this out on Saturday and this was just such a great, great dish. We eat a lot of chicken, we eat a lot of turkey. Um, we do pork a couple times a week. And uh, this was so good that I took the leftovers and I made a, a soup out of it. So I took some of the leftover meat and uh, made a chicken soup out of it. I, to this can. Okay, so so what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this around so you can see the butt side. We're going to take this skin, we're going to try to lift it up the best that we can without ripping it. That's the key here. You don't want to tear this skin because we want this marinade to get down in over the breast area. So I'm just slowly working my fingers in underneath here. Normally I wear rubber gloves and they are on their way from Amazon. I ran out, I tried using some of Shannon's and they are way too small. She has tiny little fingers. So, so you can see I'm getting this down in to the legs, the thigh area. So we really want this flavor to get into this chicken. And that's the way you do it. So you're going to use a spoon as well. 
but you don't want to rip that skin. You want to try to keep that skin the best that you can. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this marinade. As you can see, it's got a really nice flavor to it and um, color. So I'm just going to pour a little of this in there like that. So you're going to use about a two thirds of that. That's what's nice about this is that it can actually just sort of pour right in there once you get that skin open up and get it all down in there, okay? Because this is where all your flavors are gonna come from. And you're gonna be loving this chicken, I promise you. I wouldn't say it if I didn't feel it was true. We like the French chicken in a pot. This is our new favorite chicken, okay? So now, that seems to be pretty good there. So I wanna make sure I get it worked into these, these leg bones because Shannon, she likes the dark meat. So that's pretty good. Now I suck at tying, okay? So I'm gonna try to truss this up the best that I can because I wanna keep these legs tight together to keep all of this marinade inside the chicken, okay? So please don't laugh at my knot tying abilities. I was a Boy Scout, but I wasn't great at knots. Yeah, 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 I know this probably isn't the right way. If Max was here, he could trust this puppy up in a second. So anyway, I don't know. No, you can't trust it first because then you can't no, work I said it. I could have trusted it for you. Do I help you with your cocktails? No, you don't. Okay. Can you help me drink them? Yes. And you help eat this chicken. True. So. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this isn't the way you do it, but I'm leaving it like that, okay? Now I'm going to take this and put it in this big bowl. All right. This rag, this towel will go down into the laundry um, as soon as we get done here because I've been using uh, raw chicken. So now I have about a third of this marinade left and I'm just going to drizzle this all around this chicken, get some in the inside. And we're gonna let this sit down in our, we have a refrigerator in the basement. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator down there. And tomorrow night, we're going to make this Prizy's Corner Bar, and uh, you want to marinate this. If you aren't making this tonight, you want to let this marinate for at least six hours. Overnight is better. 12 is good. So I'm doing 24. Okay. You're so tempted to want to taste this, but don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. I want to use some soap on my hands, so I want to make sure I don't have any chicken stuff on there. Grab a clean towel. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up with self uh, saran wrap, cling wrap, glad wrap, whatever wrap you have. But you want to use a plastic wrap versus a foil because you really want to get this nice and airtight. Okay. So I just. Put it on there, stretch it nice and tight. Okay, and this stuff is not expensive, so I use a lot of it because I don't, last thing I wanna do is have a $15 chicken not stay sealed. Okay, there's our chicken. This is gonna marinate till tomorrow. I'm gonna put it in the oven before our show, and when the show starts, I'll be pulling it out and I'll show you how we serve it up. Um, I'm probably going to serve this with um, some rice. I may do some beans on the stove, and that's all I know. Okay, so thank you all for watching. Hopefully you uh, um, make this tomorrow and join us with this, and uh, please try to tune in and watch Rise's Corner Bar. Like, share, and uh, comment, please.
Good night. All the recipes are on Fry's Corner Bar. That's right. All the recipes are on Fry'sCornerBar.com. Please check them out. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're always available, and we're always glad to help any way we can. Yeah, and let us know what you thought of our uh, our new uh, studio software we're testing. Yes, out. we're testing that new <laughs> software tonight. So, <clears throat> thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Adios.